these in one is can't be caught. We're in the southern parts of the USA. Well, these lizards haven't seen Australians yet. Us Australians can catch lizards. Let's go, Jim. The lady Jennifer, who just happens to be the world's greatest lizard catcher, caught me one of these iguanas and she held it still while I did a bit of a sketch of it. I find them fascinating, these uh, beautiful lizards, although they are non-native, they are actually technically a pest where they are, they don't seem to be doing too much damage, but they look like little dinosaurs, they, they are amazing little things and I just love dinosaurs, always have. I guess that's why I like reptiles, because I like dinosaurs. So this is sort of like drawing one of my childhood dreams, you know. Back in Australia where I'm from, a big lizard like that would definitely be a flesh eater. Uh, so it's pretty amazing to see these guys just munching on grass like a kangaroo or a wallaby. And gee, they move like a wallaby too, they just go flat out, they're so fast at running. But it's the amazing lady Jennifer that got the better of one of these guys. I'd like to do a sketch of the iguana. I was quite impressed with the way this animal ran so fast. And so I want to do a running picture of this. I'm starting off with pencils, trying to catch some of that action and now I go over it with ink using a fine nib just putting bits of detail in bit by bit the great thing about it is you can just be very messy with the pencils and you be very very careful with the ink because all those pencil lines get rubbed out after a while the ink gives a really good strong bold image that sort of stands out now I'm going to add a bit of colour and just watercolour to it. I like to put watercolour over ink. And it's green to represent the grass that this animal is eating. And here's the Lady Jennifer chasing it. I've done her in pencil so she looks like she's in the background a bit more. So the ink's sort of more high contrast and the pencil's a little bit more low contrast in the background. So she's running towards that lizard to catch it. And just putting the final touches on the lizard. All in all, this is for me, you know, best souvenirs I think is to actually just do a bit of artwork to remember the wonderful day we had catching lizards. Well, at least Jennifer caught a lizard. Jen caught him, so Jen can let him go. We always like to put things back exactly where they came from. Yeah. So it's been fun having a hold. Well, that's about where he was.